Have you ever listened to music to calm yourself down after a bad day at the office? Who hasn't? Well, according to this science fiction light headset and the software that goes with it, my day so far seems pretty relaxing, but it suffices to focus a little bit on what I have to do this weekend. And as you can see, things change. The white wave comes straight from your brain. The blue sky wave represents your emotional state of mind. This wave is the one which controls the music. The wave at the top is a more visual representation of your state of mind. Its color changes according to your mood and so changes the skins on the screen. When you're stressed out, your brain sends different signals. Thanks to this headset and to the MXP4 technology, we can adapt the music to your mood. This means that when you're relaxed, you'll have chill out music, and when you want something more dynamic, you'll have cheerful and upbeat music. First Meadows. Okay, now the second pattern, three, four. Music has never been interactive so far, but during live concerts and events, this might change thanks to a new innovative technology which literally reads your mind and also mixes the same song over and over again regarding your mood and the settings you've chosen for your state of mind. It's not always the same mix. So, uh, so in, in my opinion, I think this uh, this way to listen music uh, can be very interesting. Uh, very interesting because uh, it becomes uh, uh, something like organic, like alive. Well, I think it, um, what we've got is so important. I think it covers a lot of the demands that are being asked of by the artist, by the industry, and by the consumer. So it enables the artists to express themselves more in the musical format, but also with the text and the images, be able to communicate more to the listener about how that came about. Or it might just be, it's the karaoke version where you've got the lyrics and you can do a sing-along or you know, play along with a guitar. Or but somebody might say that all this information is already on the current format. MP3 is a compression format. What ours is, is a compression format plus the extra two dimensions of multimedia and a very different live surprising audio experience. So I will engage the listener to experiment MXP4, the platform in 4D. If I just want to navigate through another skin, I just have to click and you will see a smooth transition between both of them. And then I'm going to try to test the player on the streets of Paris and I'm going to see if it works. So your mood can change along the day with the music, just as the music industry is trying to change to meet new consumers' needs. But when it comes to new applications like Music Notes, the question, as always, is still the same. What comes first? The listener's emotional choice, or what the music industry and their technology wants you to listen to? Ramon Goni, BBC News, Paris.